If your medicine cabinet is stuffed with old bandages, maybe expired medication, it's time to spring it clean. Here with uh, to help you determine what to keep and what to toss out is dermat dermatologist Dr. Engelman. Great to have you on this morning. Thanks, Stephanie. Good to be here. So what do we do when it comes to our medicine cabinets? I know looking at mine, it is an absolute mess, but I'm always afraid to throw stuff out. So how do we determine what to keep and what to toss out? Well, it's so hard once we've invested in a product to actually throw it away without it being completely used. But the reality is, just like you said, with prescription medications, once they reach an expiration date, it's time to get rid of them. And that is the same reality that applies to our serums, moisturizers, and makeups. So a good rule of thumb is if it's a moisturizer or a liquid makeup, it's about six months of longevity. Mascaras between four and six months and lipsticks can last up to a year. So it's important to go through in the spring and kind of edit out the products that need to be tossed despite how hard that may be to actually do it. <laughs> so we're good with the makeup. Now what about those key things that we should always have in our medicine cabinet, those just-in-case items? So I always encourage my patients to have a daily serum, a day cream, a night cream, and an eye cream. And we really don't need duplicates of that, so it's important to edit down our products and really stick with what we use. But a great multitasker, which is another tip I tell my patients, you buy something that you can use both on the face and the body. And I love bio oil, which I originally started using for the prevention of stretch marks. I just had a baby two months ago, and so that was what it was formulated for but um, for burns, scars, and stretch marks, and it does a great job in helping to prevent the appearance or treat existing scars or stretch marks. It has vitamin A, vitamin E, natural botanical oils, and so it's great for a hydrator as well, so you can use it on the face and the body to hydrate the skin, and going into spring, you know, we're getting away from thicker formulations and creams and going into lighter formulations, so this one is multifactorial. We can use it in multiple uses, and it's readily available at major retailers, so it's a great product that I love and recommend. Well, and you look fabulous, by the way, for having a baby just two months ago. <laughs> so I, I had one about five months ago. Thank I wish you. I knew about this product. Where can our viewers go to learn more if we want to pick this up? So they can go to biooilusa.com or they can follow me at, at Dr. Dindy at my social media channels in order to get wic weekly skincare tips. And as we close here, is this, you know, spring cleaning maybe a good time to get started on that medicine cabinet? Is that what you suggest? Or how many times of year should we really be Absolutely. looking to toss stuff out? I would say to edit twice a year because the six month cycle is usually what most products, that's how long the life of their product All right. lasts. Time to get spring cleaning. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Engelman. And for more on this segment, you Thank can log to our website, fox4morningblend.com. Always feeling like you need filters on your pictures to look your best. Up next, how Swan Centers can help you live your everyday life in confidence after the break.